This is the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss Crew Cab. Today we are with our friends at Mankato Motors selling wonderful, beautiful Chevrolet automobiles in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys in a ride. ride. And Nathan, tell the folks what we're taking a look well, at Well, let me tell you, but you're going to need about 30 seconds for this. <laughs> we're, we're here today with a 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT Z71 Crew Cab. Yes, you got it. Lots of names. Big, big long name, big long title, <laughs> but it's a big giant truck as well. But say, if you want to keep up to date with all the uh, new cars, trucks, SUVs, and you'd like to know about all the new technology that's built into them, plus you like cool collector cars, take a minute to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification at the top so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Well, let's, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. You know, I'm talking about, you know, just the ride in this. Um, is what I would expect. You know, you, you can. It's, it's a. It's an off-road truck. It's you know got um, extra suspension stuff on it on this particular package. Um, so I can feel all the little rumble, the, the little tar strips as I go across them. But the but the ride itself, other than that, is very comfortable. Oh yeah. I do notice, you know, in case you're a short person, mm -hmm. um, that these seats have an incredible adjustment forwards and back okay. so whether wow. you're whether you're short or tall you can definitely adjust these seats right to fit anybody oh well tell us about getting in and out of this vehicle okay so getting <laughs> in and out of this vehicle you're going to want to order steps um running boards running boards, running boards steps. something yeah uh it is a really <laughs> high in I, i'm five foot eleven and a half and uh i yeah it's a nice thing. It's got it these big a, chunky grab handles. Right. You'll want those. You'll want those. <laughs> but as you said, it is a purpose-built off-roading type right. of truck. So it's going to have want a higher ground clearance. You're going to want it up high. Everything is uh, in easy reach. The I, I, I always like, you know, how when the, the buttons that you use, there are some that are down here, are easy to reach for the driver, the stereo, all that kind of stuff. Um, easy laid out. There's enough physical buttons on this that you can run things physically. If you like the touchscreen, you know, stuff, then you can certainly use that as well. It does have a uh, uh, reverse parking sensors okay. and a rear view camera. It does not have the 360 view, okay. but it, uh, or a front view, but it has the rear view. Um, you can also activate that camera if you're pulling a trailer, and you can get the trailer cam. Okay. If you have a trailer that's appropriately that's equipped. That's wired with a camera Correct. and stuff on it. So you can see through right. the trailer. Like you see and and actually, person. as you're driving, if you want to tr just check your um, trailer hitch, yeah, you know, you can just go to the camera, hit it, and it goes for eight seconds. Uh -huh. And it gives you a little view down there. Nothing right. else you can do, but you can look at it for about eight seconds, and then it will automatically go back. <laughs> All right. So we are going to, or I, am going to let Rob drive. Yeah, and you're gonna go check the trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna go check the trailer. <laughs> I like it. So I, I just pulled into a parking lot here and was quite easy just to pull it in. Yeah. You know, you know if I were just to hop in this, I wouldn't, and you didn't tell me that it was designed as an off-road truck, I, I wouldn't notice, know from uh, like the high country or something because I love how high this sets up. And it's, really, it's high. really easily maneuverable. We just pulled out of a, a big box store parking lot and it was like, wow, this is okay. Yeah. This is easy to maneuver, easy to ride in and turn. So, and it's quiet. Yeah, it, it is quiet. I mean, we're talking casually, not shouting or anything. What? So, what? <laughs> you, you, you can see the foot of space I have between my knees and Rob's seat. All right, acceleration. Hey. 5.3 liter, yeah, you, you don't have any uh, issues wanting to haul or uh, haul a trailer or get on the highway, merge on the highway, it's really easy. Um, 
and Nathan said it earlier, fit and finish. It's 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 really top notch, I think. It is. It's tight. I can't see anything that's been misaligned or no. sticking out or I mean it is it is a it's a plush cap. Yeah. Now, Al's like, everyone does this now, but they recess the, the roof right over your head, yep. front and back. This doesn't have a sunroof or, or anything, but um, I, I love that space. And I got, I know I got my feet stretched out. Now, they're underneath Rob's seat here, but I, it, it, it's not an angle that bothers me. It's, it's really at a natural angle. It's not pushing my front, my feet, front of my feet down. Yeah, I, like I said earlier, I wouldn't think you put me in an off, a dedicated off-road vehicle when, when uh, no, uh, driving not, along not the highway here. Right, yeah. Trucks are an American staple up there with apple pie, baseball, and superhero movies. Chevrolet trucks have been helping people get things done for over a hundred years. And if you've got a uh, tough job to do, there is a Chevy truck that's ready to do it. This is the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LT Trail Boss Crew Cab. Now it's powered by a 5.3 liter 16 valve V8 putting out 355 horsepower and 383 foot-pound of torque, driven by an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, it is capable of zero to 60 in 6.4 seconds and 93.2 miles per hour in a quarter mile run. Up front, we do have fully automatic headlights with on-off feature, and you do have keyless remote and also illuminated entry with perimeter approach lights. And of course I do like the um, where they've done the keyless entry. You've got the uh, lock unlock button on the front doors and the back doors. And of course you have a capless fuel filler. And down below you also see on the front, you'll see the red tow hooks and the blacked out grill. That's what I really think is cool about this LT trim level and this um, this trail boss trim level, actually. I like the whole front end. I like you've got the airfoil here that uh, vents air around the vehicle as well to give you a little bit of a more aerodynamic cut through the, through the wind. You do have heated power door mirrors. This does have skid plates as well. And you do have a four wheel disc with electro hydraulic power assist and ABS. There are vented front and rear brake rotors as well. Up front you have the independent coilover shock with twin tube shock absorbers and out back you have the rear suspension that is uh, solid axle with semi-elliptical variable rate two-stage multi-leaf springs and they are splayed twin tube shock absorbers. This vehicle also does have a two-speed automatic or auto track uh, automatic transfer case with the full wheel drive. Okay, taking a walk out back. Let's take a look back here. Oh, I also love this wheel and tire package and I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes as well. Okay, out back you'll see one of the, my favorite things here is this uh, rear step bumper and you've got this corner step as well. You ha do have LED brake lights, rear vision camera, uh, polished uh, tail pipe finisher and you do have the trailer hitch receiver uh, the 4-7 uh, pin connector and you also have the uh, uh, the trailer sway control as well I like that you do have the two cameras here one is to look down to see uh, at your trailer so you can back up easily the other one is your standard backup camera. That's a really cool feature. Another is it is a power uh, tailgate. All you have to do is push the button and it, uh, it is a soft lowering tailgate. I really do like that as well. This is Chevy's DuraBed. It's roll formed high strength steel and it has more standard cargo volume than any other truck. I like the sprayed in bed liner as well. And it also features 12 standard tie downs and you've got three in each corner. There's also an available 120 volt outlet located here at the back tailgate, and you do have lighting as well uh, around the hitch, the cargo box, and the perimeter of the truck. And as I said earlier, you can see it in a larger corner step, which is better designed to accommodate work boots and uh, larger feet, basically, and larger shoes. The cargo box height is 22.4 inches, the width is 71.4 inches at the floor. Now between the wheel housings, you've got 50.63 inches. 
and then the length of the cargo bed from the front to here where the tailgate is is 79.44 inches. On this vehicle, you're looking at fuel economy of 17 city and 20 highway. It does have a fuel tank capacity of 24 gallons. Overall length of this vehicle is 231.7 inches. The width out front, uh, well, side to side, is 81.2 inches. Overall height, 78.3 inches. It rides on a wheelbase of 147.4 inches. Maximum payload out back, 2,225 pounds. Maximum cargo, 71.7 cubic feet. Properly equipped, this vehicle will tow 9,400 pounds. Now, as far as uh, basic warranty on this vehicle, it is 36 months, 36,000 miles. There is a powertrain warranty of 60 month, 60,000 miles. And you also have uh, roadside assistance coverage for 60 months, 60,000 miles as well. Uh, going back to ground clearance, we talked about it is a little bit tall, but it is uh, 10.9 inches. Now the approach angle and departure angles approach, if you've got 27 point, or 28.7 degrees and 22 27.2 degrees out back. Now the approach angle means how steep of a ramp or rock or log a vehicle can meet without scraping the front end. And the departure angle is similar to the approach angle, except it's related to leaving rather than approaching an obstacle. Okay, and of course then in all circumstances, obviously the larger degree of the angle is much better for off-roading. And you can see this vehicle is up and designed for that purpose. So you do have the larger uh, approach and departure angles as well as the ground clearance. So next up, we've got Nathan and he's just chomping at the bit to show you all the fun and technology that's built into this vehicle. And uh, so what do you say, Nathan? You ready to take the folks for a tour on the inside? I certainly am. All right, here we go, folks. Come on in, let's take a look. Take it away, Nate. Stepping on the inside here, we've got a, a black door, we've got soft touch uh, materials up here. They're a little firmer, um, but they have, uh, but they're not hard plastic. Um, you got some nice white stitching. You do have auto up and down on the driver's window, but it is uh, only auto down for the other windows. And then, man, you know, just you have to hold the lever to pull it up. Here are your mirror controls right here, along with your window lockout and your lock on lock buttons. Uh, this does have a six speaker Bose sound system in there. There's one of those speakers. And then you've got nice ample storage down here. Um, really like these bottle holders that are in there. Hey, moving over to the driver's seat, you've got eight-way powers. Seats themselves are nice leather seats. They've got nice white uh, contrasting stitching on them. And they're very comfortable. I do like the uh, silver kind of matted, uh, matted, clear silver and matted silver uh, door sill that they have right in here as long and as well as the uh, floor mats they've put front and rear. And I'll show you the rear when I get in there, but those are really nice all-weather floor mats. Okay, moving up here, you've got your parking brake, and then you have uh, the lighting switch controls. This does have auto lights on there, and then you do this button right here is for your lights on your exterior mirrors, and then this is the uh, brightness and dimness of your dashboard and infotainment system, fog lamps, rear bed light right there. And then up here you have, of course, auto four-wheel drive, two high, four high, four low. And then this is your mode setting. So if you click it over here, you get a sport mode. If you click it again, it goes back to normal. And if you click it to the left here, then it puts you in trailer mode. And if you click it again, it takes you out of trailer mode. All right, let's uh, step inside and uh, get this thing started. All right, we'll get a start up here. One of the things that you'll notice uh, is that this is um all analog gauges on the dash except for the driver's information center uh in the middle so you've got basically you've got uh, oil temperature you've got engine temperature you've got fuel and then you've got your voltage over here and then over here you got your rpms and of course your speedometer but then in the middle you do have a digital driver's information all right let's back up here a minute and just basically take a look at the steering wheel controls so right here, you've got your cruise control settings along with your heated steering wheel. So cruise control on, cruise control off, cruise control cancel. To set or resume, you use this button. You just, you just tap it downwards to set it, tap it upwards to resume it, and then you can increase or decrease your speed the same way. 
Moving over to the right, you've got voice command, you have got phone off or hang up, and then these cursors all control your driver's information center. So, um, and I'll show you more about that when I cut the video on the driver's information center and the infotainment center. Moving over a little bit more here, uh, you'll notice that on the uh, stick shift, you do have a plus and minus. So what this does, this doesn't allow you to shift through all your gears, but basically allows you to shift between uh, low gear one, low gear two, low gear three. All right. And then uh, on this side, you've got your windshield wipers right here. It's just a rotary. And then you have got your window washer button right here. This is a manual tilt and telescoping wheel. Let's just take a general look at the dashboard here. I really like these materials. Um, they've got a nice look to them. Um, this is a little harder touch plastic. Um, but this part here around here is much softer. You've got some nice chrome trim. One of the things I do like about this though is the split screen on the home view here. I like that. Okay. So you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth, and six speakers. Moving on down, you have some physical buttons. You have power on off, volume, and you have a uh, seek left, a seek right. You've got a physical home key, and then a back button. This is just sort of a, it's not a button. Then you have a tuning button right here, or you can scroll through your um, apps, and then you can use this to select something. Okay, moving on down, this is a dual zone climate control system. Again, I always like it when they put the sync, physical sync button on so you don't have to go to the infotainment screen. So that is there. Fan controls, you have your typical uh, AC and heat controls down here. Um, and then you do have the auto button right here. Hey, okay, moving on down here, on this vehicle, there are two uh, dummy buttons right here and right here. So this button right here is for your parking sensors. Uh, lit means it's on, and when you turn it off, you get a little uh, message in your driver's information center that it's off. This is where you turn off the auto start stop feature. And again, if it's lit, auto stop start, auto start stop is functional. And if the light goes off, auto start stop is off. This is your uh, power tailgate release from the inside, your hazards, of course, trash control on or off, okay? And right now it's off, and right now it's on. I don't like the fact that they don't use a light on this one. I like it when the light comes on. Uh, so I wish this would light up when it was on, but I suppose they figure people would have that on so often that maybe you know it would get to be a distraction. I don't know. This is your power button to activate that, um, that power outlet in the rear that Rob showed you. And then here's your hill descent control. Once you, once you turn the hill descent control on, then you can use your plus and minus for setting your cruise control to control the speed. Moving on down here, we do have a household outlet. We have a 12 volt outlet. And in addition, we have two USBs, a regular USB and a USB-C. These two will connect you to your Android uh, Auto and your Apple CarPlay. Over here is your uh, brake adjustments for your trailer, as well as your push start button. Down here you have a nice deep tray, um, and it's divided into two, and then you've got a little dip in there um, that you can like lay a pencil or something in. Um, this this part here would be big enough for a smaller smartphone. This side's big enough for a larger smartphone. Uh, and then of course you do have a space in here you can set it, and you have dual cup holders. And this as well, right back here, is also big enough for a full size smartphone, like one of the big size ones. Okay. Um, if we open this up a minute, you'll notice here that you have a huge space. And basically, you have an SD card here that you can use for, for music and media. You have, again, two additional USB ports as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And then right on the side here, I've yet to decide uh, what that's for, but I really think it's probably for a pen or a pencil. It's just a little area to set something so it's not you're not digging you know through everything that's in here to find that pen or pencil. You just put it right there for you, and then it is lit with this little light down here. All right, so we'll close that up, and we'll move on over to the uh, the glove compartments. There are dual glove compartments. So the top one here, 
opens upwards and you have a fairly you know it's 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 a finger length in depth it is a little curved surface uh, but would work well for storing smaller items okay and if we go down below here you have more of a traditional I like how it opens softly I like that dampened uh, opening and then of course you have your driver's manuals down here and everything in a much deeper spot to put other things in okay and then uh, moving up to the top here You've got a regular mirror, so it's, you've got your day-night switch. Up here, you've got your SOS and, and um, emergency uh, buttons there. And then um, they made it very simple up here. You either can uh, say, I don't want my dome lights to come on at all, or I want them to come on when the door is open. And then you can turn all lights on or off right here, or you can just individually click and they come on. This is your power sliding rear uh, window. So you just you give it a one put, you get a push and it goes open and a pull and it goes closed. Um, it's not auto, so you do have to hold it down. And then these are your three home link buttons for your garage doors. The visors are not lit, but they do have a very large mirror in them, and they are telescoping on both sides. And then the last thing that I'll mention is right down here on, on right next to the console on the side, it has a feature that I like. And that is this little side pocket right here. And I, I really like that. Okay, well, let's take a step in the back and we'll take a look at that. All right, so stepping into the rear of the pickup here, uh, you know, the doors are very nice. They've got that same kind of soft touch material. You know, it's not like plushy soft, but it's like the front where it is still soft and comfortable to your hand. And then you got good storage down here, another one of the Bose speakers. Nice uh, fake wood trim piece here along with some nice satin chrome. There are dual seat back pockets on either side, which I always like to see on both sides. And then in the rear here, you've got a, a 12 volt outlet as well as two USBs. And of course, this is a USB-C, so this follows the same model as we saw on the front. And of course, your rear uh, climate control vents. And then dual cup holders here. In addition to that, if you look back here, you also have dual cup holders. I like the width of the armrest. I really, I really like that. Okay, the seats themselves are designed, if you just put your hand underneath and you pull up, you find you've got storage underneath here. Runs all the way. You've also got your jack tools right here. So plenty of storage is kind of hidden underneath. Right here, you also have additional storage on both outboard seats. Great. So, talking about uh, legroom and headroom, um, this seat is set way back. Uh, my feet won't reach the front, one of the, but even so, I've got about six inches of space before my knee would get to the seat. Got plenty of room to get my feet under the seat to be comfortable, so it's a nice stretch. Okay. In terms of headroom, I've got, I must have uh, close to, you know, four inches of headroom. So again, plenty of headroom uh, in the back. Uh, in addition to that, you got your two uh, LED reading lights back here, and then the nice thick grab handles, um, which again, you're going to want to use these. Um, and, and if I were buying one of these, I would definitely put a running board or a sidestep or something on there just to make the daily getting in and out uh, easier. Last but not least, uh, I, here's the rear floor mats. I talked about them in the front, but they're uh, all weather floor mats. They're full, they're covered just about everything. Um, and I also like how the floor is just really flat. There's a slight hump right here, but lots and lots of space in here. All right, so one of my favorite things is on the infotainment system, and that's the trailering app. And what I like about it is that if I press start here, it won't do it now because there's there's nothing there, no trailer hooked up, but it'll do your running lights, your brake lights, your left turn signal, your right turn signal, and your reverse lights. So you can start that with your vehicle on, walk to the back, and it will cycle through all those for you to make sure that they're all working. And then of course on the rear view, this is equipped with the rear view camera, and then you do have, um, put that back in reverse a minute, you do have the guidelines you can turn on or off, and then you have the hitch view. Okay, my favorite thing about this truck is the overall look and design of the grill. I like that whole blacked out front end. You see a little bit of the color of the vehicle around it. I think it looks best when you don't have a black truck, actually. So you can see that black grill stand out. That's my favorite detail, favorite thing of this truck. 
Two, two guys that are right. And today, Nathan, tell the folks what we're taking a look at. Oh man, we are taking a look at this beautiful 2019 Chevrolet Pickup Prado. <laughs> it's got so many names to it. It's like 25 different things and 19 syllables in each one. Silverado LT Z71 Trail Balls Crew Cab Pickup Truck. Swimming pool. Oh, I'm sorry, are you yeah. recording? <laughs> Trail Boss. Trail Boss Z71. Crew Cab. <laughs> <laughs> Element OP. <laughs> if it looks loose, you can hop out and go fix it. <laughs> yeah, try to leave the vehicle in park while you're doing that. So don't get out while you're while you're adjusting your trailer right. <laughs> with the camera on at 55 miles an hour. <laughs> try not to look at your lights. Yes, too. Try not to. <laughs> well, I was just thinking if you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> My knees are Rob seat. In between his ears. Nope. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing is what they have on the Rolls Royce where I have a control here for the front seat and I can just shove a rod right up to the dashboard. <laughs> Would you like some gray poop on? Yeah. <laughs> 